Okay, so we're going to walk through the entire process of preparing tracks for live performance. This would be like a DJ style with Ableton Live. Uh, I've already downloaded a bunch of tracks from various sources here. Um, and what I've done is I've already created a folder. So I downloaded them, they went into my download folder on Mac, and then I created a folder here, New Tracks. And I've already taken the liberty of separating these up into playlists. So my workflow here is going to be when I download songs, I'm already kind of thinking ahead of time uh, how I'm going to organize these. So I've created two playlists here just for demonstration today. Um, pretty much you open this up, it's just a folder of songs by the artist, and then usually the album name followed by the track name. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run all these through mixed in key. So you can just do this at you know with one sweep here. I'm just going to take both of these folders uh, and drag them right into the program. And we're going to wait for this to analyze. Okay, so as we're analyzing here, uh, I'll go ahead and show you my settings. In rename files, we have tempo, key, and original file name, and key notation. Again, I always set at sharps. Another thing that is important is how you restrict the tempo. I like to keep my songs analyzed between 60 and 120. For example, I play songs that are commonly a 140 at 70 instead of 140. It's just a personal preference. You can set that however you like. That's just how I do it. Now, mix and key isn't always going to get every song. For example, there's going to be some that weren't analyzed, but we can do those manually. It's not a big deal. We got the bulk of the information here, and that's what matters. So the way that we're going to do this for workflow in live is pretty much create one set. So I have one called Two Warp here. Uh, that's just a set that I use that kind of has my queue of songs that I need to warp. Uh, you know, when I have free time or uh, get around to it, I can just go ahead and do that right out of this set. They're already, they're already put into this project file and I don't need to, to do much. So the first thing that we're going to do is I created two audio tracks here. I'm going to name them the title of my playlist just so I remember for myself. And then we're going to just drag in these tracks. So uh, my computer's not uh, powerful enough to handle dragging in all of them at once. So we're going to have to do this in a few steps here. It's also uh, important to take note that I have these in Finder organized by name. So I click name up here. Uh, that makes it to where the tempo is in order of slowest to fastest. Um, this just is an easier way to warp things in live. Um, and we'll get into that in a bit. I do all the digging at once. And then I do all the organizing, then I analyze and mixed in key, then I bring into live. I do it like that because batch processing is almost always quicker as far as workflow is concerned. And in my set, I want to make sure I collect all and save. It's going to make sure that there's no missing media, there's no confusion, there's nothing that's happening that is unexpected by moving a file or deleting something. Uh, everything is going to be contained within this set. So once these are copied uh, into the set, we'll pick right back up where we left off. And now that these are copied into the set, we're going to go back into the finder to the original location of these files and command delete. 